Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another makeup tutorial that's perfect for beginners. Obviously you can see that this one is only cool tones. It is a bit dramatic but without fake eyelashes. It's super super cute and if you want to see exactly how I did it then just keep on watching. Step number one is going to be the primer for the eyeshadows. As always, I'm going to be using the concealer from LA Girl and I'm going to blend it out with my finger and tapping motions until the tone is even on my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone. You can obviously use a sponge if you have that. It's a lot faster and easier, but the finger blended out really good too. And you can see that the tone is uh, even on the eyelid and it's ready for the eyeshadows. In the previous video, I showed you guys these two eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced and in that video I did this makeup look using the warm toned palette. This one time I'm using the cool toned. And first I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using a brush from Profusion number ES6 and I'm going to apply this a little bit above my crease from the outer corner of my eye and then towards the inner corner but I'm not going to apply it all the way to the inner corner. I'm just stopping like right before I get to the inner corner and then once it's time to blend it out I'm going to make sure I don't have too much product on the brush and it's slowly going to start moving a little bit higher and then right here I start dragging the eyeshadow towards the inner part but it's not going to move so much it's just going to start blending out into that area so it's going to be very soft and not as dark as the inner part and the outer corner which is how I want it and it does help if you stretch your eyelid by lifting up your eyebrow to blend out the eyeshadow a lot easier and faster. Then I'm going to grab this shimmery eyeshadow using this little sponge and I'm going to apply it on the inner part and the outer part of my eyelid. It's such a beautiful shade and the formula is amazing. A lot of pigmentation. I just love it. And I'm going to blend it into the, uh, the crease right there. I do want it a little bit above so it can also be visible when I'm looking straight forward and it's not just on my eyelid. So to do that, I just use the same little sponge. I just make sure, again, I don't have too much product on the sponge when I'm blending it out. And then I'm dragging it up to where the matte eyeshadow is but I'm obviously not going to go past that I want it to be blended out right on top of that eyeshadow now using a different little sponge I want one clean I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here and apply this on the inner corner so it can be nice and blended on top of the gray shimmery eyeshadow I just use the same little sponge and pretty much apply some on top of the gray eyeshadow not all over obviously but just so it can you know mix together and it can look blended out then I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here and apply it on my lower lash line and I'm using a small brush for this. I want to use a small brush and not start with a lot of product on the brush because it can sometimes look a little tacky when you're applying it on the lower lash line. So you just wanna make sure you apply it as close to the lash line as you can. And of course, if you want it a bit thicker, like more dramatic, then you can just easily apply more layers. I'm gonna apply that same eyeshadow above the roots of my eyelashes, uh, just kind of like a smoky eyeliner, but I don't want it to be too thick. This part is gonna help make your lashes look just a little bit fuller. It does help a little, makes it a bit of a difference. But if you have small eyes or hooded eyes, you just want to do a very thin line. That way it doesn't cover up too much of your eyelid. Now I'm going to curl my lashes using my favorite eyelash curler that I always get at Target and I'm gonna link it on the screen. You can see a button that says view products and I'll have all of the products that I use in this video right there in case you want to know more of the products. Um, but yeah, this one's my favorite one because it leaves my lashes nice and curly. And of course, again, I'm gonna be using my favorite mascara, Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I don't know why I don't hear a lot of people talking about this mascara. For me, it's my number one and has been for years. It just leaves my lashes looking so so nice i always apply it from the roots all the way to the tip i apply two layers making sure the first layer is completely dry before i apply the second layer and once i apply the second layer i do the same thing pretty much i twist the brush i do like the little zigzag and just make sure i am applying a good amount of product but i'm also applying more on the very tip of the lashes this is what's going to help make your lashes look a bit long um, just by applying a little bit like I'm barely touching my lashes right here just the very tip and sometimes it's not always necessary but sometimes I like to grab my tweezers and just use this to separate my lashes because sometimes they do stick together and it looks weird so uh, I just like to separate them and I'm gonna use that same mascara for my lower lashes but I'm right here I'm only applying one layer and the last step that I did was and I forgot to show it off camera and I'm so sorry but I used the Rare Beauty black eyeliner and applied that on my waterline that 
will make your eyes look just a bit smaller so if you don't want that then just skip that step but I really love that look honestly I just love how dramatic everything looks around the eye and but without fake eyelashes it doesn't look that dramatic so I want to know what you guys think of this look this is the completed look right here I just applied a nude lipstick and the blush is like just a bit pink but yeah please let me know in the comments below what you give it on a scale of 1 to 10 if, and if you did like it uh, share this video with your friends and your family leave your like before you leave and yeah thank you all so much for your love and your support I love you and I will see you in my next video bye